I didn't come here knowing what a wrench was or what, you know, channel locks were. Those were not in my vocabulary. My name is Crystal, and this is my life as an instrument tech. I grew up in Baytown, Texas, um, born and raised there. I went to Robert E. Lee High School in Baytown as well and went to school to be a senior paralegal. So I did paralegal studies at Lee College. I was a paralegal for about two years until I got moved up. And then I became a senior paralegal. The money wasn't really what I expected it to be. So, and then honestly working in that field, there's only so much you can do. There's really no room for advancement. Once you hit the senior paralegal, you kind of plateau. I wanted more, I wanted more success. I wanted more money, more freedom financially for me and my son. Actually, some friends of mine do this and they kind of kept talking to me about instrumentation. And I'm like, what is instrumentation? I have no idea what that is. So it took me going to school at night about two years to complete, a little longer than two years to complete my degree. So I was actually still in college whenever I heard about this apprenticeship here. Um, I still had probably a year left um, before I graduated and I heard about it through the college. My program here was for three years, so technically I'm still in my program. I have one more year until I'm complete, but they allowed me to go to school. They worked with me as far as my schedule was concerned, the flexibility of leaving early to meet classes or leaving early to study for a test. Here at Enios, um, basically we make plastic pellets. Um, the importance of my job is to mainly keep things running. Things have to be run at certain temperatures. We have to have a certain amount of flow going through certain pipes and certain valves. Maybe we need certain valves to shut off because the temperature is getting too high or there's too much flow going through there. In order to make everything run here, as far as plastic is concerned, um, we are essential in keeping things going, fixing things that go down, repairing things that need repair, calibrating things that maybe the calibration's off on. Every morning we start off with a safety meeting, um, different topics, different day, um, just depending on maybe things that had happened the day prior, things that we can improve on, kind of just daily reminders of how to stay safe out here. Supervisor will pair us up and give us our work orders for the day. We work a lot with operations and engineers, um, just making sure the daily flow, everything's flowing us, you know, per design. I climb vessels, I drive a forklift, I'm outside, I like being outside. And I didn't realize how much I enjoyed being outside and working outside until I came here. The fact of knowing that I'm coming in here and I'm not gonna do maybe necessarily the same thing I did yesterday is exciting, it's fun, it's challenging, and I like that. Probably one of the biggest satisfactions of working in this industry is that you're part of something that is going out there into the world and, and, and making it better. You know, we make plastic for, you know, toys or milk jugs or, you know, parts of cars, things like that. And for me, that satisfaction of knowing that I'm that piece of the puzzle that keeps it going, like whether that is coming out in the middle of the night on a call out because we have a reactor gonna come down um, because the temperature's off. I'm that essential person. But the opportunity for advancement is endless. I mean, you can start off as a tech and learn and be successful in other areas of the industry as far as, you know, furthering your education and going back for instrumentation engineer or, you know, helping in operations. And as far as just instrumentation in general, there's so many different things that you can do. You can, you know, work in forensics, you can work in the medical field, you can move up. You can move around, you know, be upper management. I have the financial freedom to take my kids on vacation. I have the, you know, the time now working Monday through Thursday. I have every Friday off. So I can go eat lunch with my kids. I can go to their field trips or I can go, you know, just run, run personal errands. Maybe I need to go to the doctor. Um, I can do that without necessarily having to take time off to do that. You don't have to just be stuck on going to a four-year college. You don't have to be stuck graduating from a university to make you think that you've made it or you've been successful. If it's something that you enjoy doing, um, something that's gonna challenge you, go for it. Don't let a two-year degree versus a four-year degree define your career path. As long as you get out there, you work hard, you show them that you can work hard and you're diligent, you can be successful. What are you up for?